We get a lot of emails from our fans and over and over again they tell us how many times they play through our games. Five, six, seven times. We're continually amazed by that. At Insomniac Games, we've had a history of including replayability features in our games. Going all the way back to the uh, Spyro series, and with Ratchet we offered something called Challenge Mode. Challenge Mode is returning, so, you know, tougher enemies but bigger rewards. You can max out your weapons. We're going to have tons of skill points. We're going to have unlockable skins, uh, cheats that are going to do some crazy things to the weapons, to the effects, and maybe even to the levels. Got to see it. And then, you know, I, I feel like we're forgetting something. Oh, that's right. Yes, trophies are coming to Ratchet for the first time. So no more emails. You don't need to. Trust me, we got them in there. We have trophies for completing the arena challenges. We give out a trophy if you've collected all of the Constructo mod upgrades. If you collect 100,000 volts, you get a trophy. 250,000 volts, winning the game on hard or easy mode or, or medium mode. So there's a lot of ways to earn cool new things as you play through the game. We've also given you a lot of incentive to actually go back and play some of the levels you've already done. As people play through a crack in time, they're gonna find that there's certain areas they can't access the first time through. One of the cool things you can unlock is fixing time. Clank actually can repair parts of the galaxy inside the Great Clock. Once you do that, you can return to these areas as Ratchet and get special prizes. One of the cool things too is that there are many optional space quests and moons that players can find in the space sectors. There's one secret sector that you can return to called the Corvus Sector that has these really tricky moons that we really dedicated to the hardcore players. We really set up a lot of challenging platforming elements on these moons that you have to, you have to complete. So yes, a lot of people just asked us, is it just more than shooting? Yes. We have a lot of platforming in this game and it's going to be challenging, so watch out. Not only will you be finding Zoni on these moons, but you'll also be finding uh, mods for your constructor weapons. The pistol, the bomb, and you know, maybe there'll be another one out there that we'll announce maybe soon. I don't know. Stay tuned for another video. Throughout the game, Ratchet finds Zoni. These are lost creatures that have been scattered away from the Great Clock by Dr. Nefarious. By finding these creatures, they will help Ratchet find his way back to Clank. You don't have to collect all Zoni in the game, but if you do, you actually unlock a really cool boss challenge with Lord Borsalon. Evil creature, you've meddled in Dr. Nefarious' plans for the last time. Prepare to be killed by... Wait for it... Lord Borsalon! <laughs> so if you make it to this boss, and you actually find a way to beat this boss, you will gain access to, yes, wait for it, the Insomniac Museum. <laughs> this is a special level where we put a lot of our developer secrets and other cool things that we couldn't manage to fit into the main game. It's something we've heard many times, just like we heard about replayability. We've heard that people wanted the Insomniac Museum to return, and it will. And if you stay tuned, you're going to be learning a lot more stuff about that in weeks to come. We're very excited about the many unlockables and replay features in A Crack in Time, and we look forward to hearing your feedback when it comes out this October 27th. Thank you.